Hi, it's Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. In our continuing series of touring Disney Vacation Club units, this video is slightly different for two reasons. First, we usually tour just one DVC villa in a single video. Today, we review four different villa sizes at Disney's Riviera Resort. Second, we recorded this video while on a tour with a DVC representative, with his permission, of course. So the video is a little rough compared to our usual DVC villa tour. I'm sure you won't mind. Disney's Riviera Resort is arguably Disney's most luxurious Disney Vacation Club resort, as you will see. It is serviced by Disney's bus transportation within Walt Disney World. As well, it has its own Skyliner stop. Many people really like this feature. We will review the many features of Disney's Riviera Resort for seniors in a later video. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the subscribe button to be notified when it drops, as well as our one or two adult travel videos each week. Okay, let's start with the Tower Studio. The Tower Studio is very small and has only a pull-down Murphy bed. It is meant for those who are only planning to stay a few nights. The Tower Studio has a maximum capacity for two adults. It has a desk and a chair to the one side of the pull-down bed, and it does also have its own balcony, as you see here. On the wall opposite the pull-down bed is the large screen TV, and also across from the pull-down bed is a very luxurious bathroom. A microwave and beverage cooler are on one side of the pull-down bed, while on top of the desk on the other side is a Keurig single coffee maker. Notice the thickness of the mattress on the queen-size pull-down bed, much thicker for more comfort than one would think in a typical mattress in a Murphy bed in other DVC studios. As well, notice the Ode to Peter Pan print inside. Outside the bathroom is a full-length mirror. While inside the bathroom is a single sink, toilet, and walk-in shower with bench, all are very luxurious. The closet has the usual wall safe and hangers, but also has some shelves that I've not seen in closets within other DVC units. It's a very nice touch. Notice that the door to the bathroom is a pocket or slider door for space saving. Next up is the studio, and we'll start right at the bathroom. Here, the walk-in shower and toilet areas are separated from the other area of the bathroom, a split bathroom arrangement that we've seen on, for example, Disney Cruise Line's Disney Wish that we've been on. Again, the use of the pocket or sliding doors to save space. The bathroom is just as luxurious as that in the tower studio. It has the same walk-in shower with bench. The other area of the bathroom has the single sink and step-up bathtub. Same full-length mirror across from the bathroom. The kitchenette area has a sink. single-serve Keurig machine and real china, microwave, toaster, and a mini fridge with a small freezer area, as you can see, which is a very nice touch. Usually the small mini refrigerators do not have the freezer area. So this is really cool. The studio unit sleeps up to five adults with one queen bed, one queen pull-down Murphy bed, and one single pull-down bed, which is underneath the wall-mounted flat screen TV, as you can see here. Notice the table and two chairs in the corner. Notice also the drawers at the foot of the queen bed, as well as space underneath for extra storage. There is a very small night table on both sides of the queen bed, which we really appreciate. We see the queen size pull down Murphy bed already pulled down. Notice here the ode to Disney's 101 Dalmatians at the head of the pull down queen bed. There's the larger balcony with a table and two chairs as part of the studio unit. One more look before we move on to the one bedroom DVC villa at Disney's Riviera Resort. Now, as we see, the studio and one bedroom villa are separated inside by the pair of doors, which when open, both units combine to give you the two-bedroom lock-off villa.
The one bedroom has the full-size kitchen area with a full-size refrigerator, stove, microwave, coffee maker, and dishwasher, as well as containing glasses, bowls, dishes, pots, and pans, and cutlery. You see that the single pull-down bed is once again under the wall-mounted flat-screen television right next to the kitchen area. As the queen-size Murphy bed is pulled down, notice that the mattress here is about half the thickness of the mattress on the pull-down queen-size Murphy bed in the tower studio. Of course, there is the balcony for the one-bedroom villa with two doors, one from the bedroom area and one from the living area. The bedroom area of the one bedroom villa is just as luxuriously appointed with a nightstand on one side, a desk with chair on the other. Once again, we see the pocket door used between the bathroom and the bedroom. Here in the one bedroom's bathroom, we see a, the lovely standalone bathtub, the same luxurious flooring as in the studio and tower studio. There is the sink in the bathroom area with the bathtub pocket door separating it from the other area of the bathroom. Again, a very nice touch. Here in the other part of the bathroom, we see the same walk-in shower with bench, toilet, and another single sink. There is no doubt you will definitely feel pampered staying at Disney's Riviera Resort, whether you stay in a tower studio villa, a studio villa, a one-bedroom or a two-bedroom lock-off Villa. Nancy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are two more videos of our travel adventures to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And lastly, my email is in the description below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.